So anytime I post a mini twist video, I always get at least one comment saying, I love this hairstyle, but I really just can't make it work for myself. My hair is not nearly as dense as yours and it just always looks extremely fine. So I really wanted to focus today on how you can achieve voluminous results, even if you don't have like extremely high density hair. So let's go. So we're coming out hot. The first tip, you always want to make sure you're starting on clean hair with no product in it. The most you're going to want to have in your hair is conditioner. So I washed and conditioned my hair. I didn't rinse the conditioner out. Um, and then I blow dried my hair out. Also, you always want to start on stretched out hair. You know, your hair is extremely fluffy when it's clean and freshly blow dry. Your hair is going to look really nice. Um, before I did this hairstyle, I was in that... I know we've all experienced this where you wash your hair, but you're not able to style your hair that day. And so then you you have to go somewhere the next day and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to put too much products in my hair, but I don't want to look crazy. What do I do? I don't want to wear a hat. So I did a slick down ponytail thinking I was going to be able to finesse it and still get my twist to look nice. I was completely wrong. Like you absolutely have to start on freshly washed hair every single time, no excuses. You guys know I'm always gonna use my braid and lock gel to start out my braids and refine my parts. When I was braiding the hair, I start. I realized once I um, got to like the second braid that I really didn't need the braid and lock gel because these parts were so small. The braid and lock gel is really good to keep your roots flat when you're doing like wider parts. So I really didn't need the braid and lock gel. Um, I just used it on that first one because my sideburns are really, unruly and long and I really needed to get those sideburns up into that braid so once I was finished once I was finished with the braids on the side I moved up to the part that I wanted to come into my face and you're gonna see that I kind of just uh, made a part I parted out a section here a section where I wanted the braids to um, come to the front and that way I could keep it accurate and consistent while as it went back. But I just made a little section and I made all of those braids kind of over to the side so that it would help my hair to lay the way that I wanted it to lay. I always say that hairstyles are really just about how it frames your face and how, um, yeah, how, how you make it frame your face um, can really drastically change your hairstyle. So make sure it's framing your face in a way that you like and take those extra steps, take a little bit of extra time to make sure that your hair is going to fall the way that you want it to fall. Because if it does, if it's not falling right, your hairstyle is not going to look nice. So as far as, so my second tip um, to maintain the volume of your hair when you're doing these mini twists. Don't use too much product. Don't have a heavy hand. The more product you use, the shinier your hair will look. It, I mean, it does have its benefits. Your hair will look extremely shiny and um, it'll just give your hair a smoother texture. But you want to work off of the fluffiness, so you don't want to put so much product. So I just use a little small dab of my conditioning curl cream. And the good thing about using the conditioning curl cream, one, I had just washed my hair, so I do like to use something a little bit heavier for my first style. But um, also, it doesn't contain so much water that it's going to work to revert your curl. But you still want to make sure that you're being careful about how much product you're putting on there. We really don't want to disrupt the fluffiness of the hairstyle. You want to keep your fluffiness, and that is also going to allow your hair to um, stay remain elongated when you do your twist. And that's also going to give you some body in your twist. So your twists have like some body and they'll shake around. So... That's tip number two. So, so far we've said that we are starting on clean hair, we're stretching our hair, and we are using products that don't have too much water, we're using a thick product, and we're not using too much product. Now, if you prefer a different a different type of product, like if, you, if, if something else works for your hair, like you like to use mousse or you like to use gel, something that has a lot of water in it, just apply that same principle um, and don't use too much. I know people that have like true, true 4C hair a lot of times, um, or if you have um, low porosity hair, 
which I need to make a video about low porosity hair because I really, I feel like if your hair is properly more, probably, if you have a good hair regimen, your hair should not resist water. However, that will save that for another video. Um, but if you have truly, truly, if your hair just really has a problem, um, absorbing products and your products the products aren't readily like dissolving into your hair then you can use something like a gel um, if you need to use something that has a little bit more water content to um, really boost those twists but still apply the same principles don't use so much that it's completely shrinking up your hair reverting the curl we really want to work off of the fluffiness for this you really don't have to worry about how your parts look because they're going to be covered up because it's going to be such a high volume style so i was just making you know um decent parts in the back going straight across and then i would just use my fingers to um separate a, a section that was consistent in size um and i was trying to be as consistent in size as i could possibly be but i really wasn't too concerned about how these parts work because because um the volume will cover up your parts so you don't have to worry about being perfect um just make a part across and then use your fingers to separate out your hair for your twists another big thing about this hairstyle and maintaining the fluffiness is once you once you finish the hairstyle that's only half the battle you have to make sure that you're maintaining it properly so that your hair doesn't shrink up overnight so the biggest tip is keep water away from your hair. When you get in the shower, make sure you have on a shower cap. Sometimes I even wear a do-rag and a shower cap, but make sure you're wearing a shower cap at least so that the steam doesn't hit your hair. Um, once that steam hits your hair, it's going to shrink up your um, hair and all of your time will be wasted. So make sure you're keeping water away from your hair. Also, don't go don't spray your hair every day i'm like i see so many people on tiktok and they're like oh how i may how i maintain my mini twist and these people probably don't have either i don't know they're maintaining their mini twist and they're spraying it with a bunch of hair milk and putting a bunch of mousse on it and wetting them and washing them and doing all of this stuff if you have hair like me avoid that because that's just going to make your hair frizzier and it's also going to just completely take away all of your volume so Keep water away from your hair, big tip. Also, when you go to sleep at night, this is already gonna be a frizzy hairstyle. So make sure you're tying it up. If you need your, if you need to, you can put some pin, pin down your hair so that it stays straight. I prefer a do-rag um, for these types of hairstyles when I want my hair down, to lay down flat um, because the do-rag kind of sits on your hair like a cap and it keeps your hair laying the way that, that you want it. Once you finish the hairstyle, you still have to make sure you're cleaning it properly because this hairstyle is very volatile. But at the point that I'm recording this video, I've had this hairstyle in for about a week and it still has the, the volume. It still has, has the um, definition. And another good thing about this, when your twists aren't so wet, my hair shrinks up so much like my hair shrinks up a, a lot so if i do my twist and they're really wet you can't really see that twisting pattern so that's another benefit of um, using products that aren't very wet you really get to see that twist pattern in your hair if your hair shrinks up a, a ton then it really takes away from the actual uh look of the twist now I have to take a second to let you guys know if you want to purchase any of the products in my video, you can go to kellyloganhair.com. I have some of the products shoppable on YouTube. I still haven't been able to get my entire catalog of products on YouTube. So you'll have to go over to my website to see those products. But if you want to purchase the products in this video, you can go to my website. And if you use the code YouTube15, you will get 15% off of your purchase. But that is it, y'all. If you follow these small steps, I promise you your mini twists will look a lot more voluminous the next time that you do them. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.